What's up guys, Card Protagonist here. Today I'm gonna do a brand new deck profile on my Pale Moon Harry deck from the brand new set Rummy Labyrinth Under the Moonlight, which is the brand new special set for the Rummy Labyrinth Girls, aka Arm and Luna. So today I'm here with the Luna deck, aka the Harry deck. So most of you guys have been asking me to do a Harry deck profile because I'm really excited for this. I was really excited for the brand new Harry because I am I myself is a Pale Moon user while my friend actually used my friend we actually used the grand blue so this set was actually quite fun for us because we both have to we, we both have decks that we like i managed to build the harry deck and the silver ton deck while he managed to build the seven seas and and the night rose deck so probably i'll be doing the seven seas really soon but for now let us get on to the, um, the deck profile of the harry deck so the what's so special about harry deck you may ask so basically harry deck is unique in a in a way that it is able to call all units from the soul onto your regard circle without spending any hand size so this is a very, very good recruiting deck however you only can recruit cards from your soul which is fine because um, there are so many good cards right now that helps harry to plus every single time so this deck is really focusing focuses more on calling stuff from your regard circle and those real guards gain huge amount of power so right now we actually have uh, brand new cards that ha ex have extra power gains such as the brand new grade 2 her she when she attacks she, she also gains 5k power if you are lucky enough when you check a magia so we right now have eight uh, dark side princess which i'm really really happy about it and yeah let's go on to the deck profile first up for the great trees you play four cap uh, four copies of harry so one um this is triple rare if you guys want to check out the rarity how it looks like this is the sp yesterday i pulled it now thank you guys for all the congratulations so this is the sp version yeah we have i have two sps and once um Lummy, uh, Rummy Labyrinth Rare. So this Rummy Labyrinth Rare is the brand new rarity for this set. Oh man, like Generation Rare isn't enough and Secret Rare isn't enough. We have RLR. So yeah, it's a pretty nice one. It's signed by the voice actor, I believe, of of Luna. So it's really cool. That's really nice as well. I like the pink background and yeah. Generally what he does is, his skill is, let's, let's go on his first, go up, explain his first skill first. So once per turn, um, in the Vanguard Circle, Generation Break 2, Count Plus 1, when your Rearguard is placed into your soul, you may pay the cost. If you do, choose a great tree with the market ability from your soul and put it into your hand. So I believe this skill is actually um, very good because during the end phase, if I'm not wrong, when you unstride and your souls go into your soul, when cards go into your, go back into your soul, you, are, you can Count Plus 1 and retrieve one card, one great tree back into your hand. So you'll be able to call for a strike. Because so sometimes we might accidentally soul charge some great trees. You can use those great trees and use for strike next turn at the cost of one calm blast. Because this deck doesn't really use a lot of calm blast. So this is a good way to get a free strike similar to Luwad. His second skill is um when he's ridden as a vanguard. Uh, when this unit is placed on the vanguard circle, so when you ride as a vanguard, you may check the top two cards of your deck and choose one card and add it to your soul and another one to the bottom of the deck. Very nice. It's kind of like Irina, the Silverton Irina, but um, he has one itself. Basically helps you set up a little and add some nice cards into your soul so that you can call later on. His third skill, Magia. During your turn when you perform Stride, so this is his Stride Break skill, you may cost, pay the cost of one Soul Blast. You can see the Soul Blast symbol there. You are able to call one uh, um, card with, from your soul with the Magia ability and call it to the Regard Circle. So instead of the previous form which uh, requires you to counter Blast, you now just pay a soul blast but um, the older form gives you additional 5k power which is always so nice but otherwise yeah he saves you more common blast so that you can spend on stronger units in the late game also i feel that he's a pretty decent unit his most interesting skill is his um first skill and his last skill which is nice as i guess so next up the uh, next great trees to play is um the old harry so yeah the old art is like this the brand new art looks like this so they have the same effect, but just a different art. So this is a reprint. I believe uh, you get three reprints per carton. So if you guys wet carton, you get probably get three of them. So what it does is, when this unit attacks the Vanguard, GB2 skill, you um you may call a card from your soul to your regard circle, and that turn for that turn that card gets three K power. Um, the card called from your soul gets a it is permanent, so you it won't go back to your soul. Pretty nice if you're not striding, you get a free attack. I mean, a free regard or free attack, which is cool. Second skill, Magia. Whenever I perform a stride, you can count blast one. If you do select one card from your soul, uh, sorry, soul charge one first, then select one card from your soul and call it to your regard circle. That unit gains its 5k power. 
at the end of the turn return back that unit back into your soul so yeah uh, basically this is your disappearance trick now you see me now you don't that's the classic of pale moon so that's eight harrys for great trees let's go on to great twos so the great twos we have is rock copy of her she's the brand new card from from the labyrinth booster so activate magia she's gb2 um this is the one of the first few sets to actually have a gb2 rear guard once per turn counter blast one if you have a harry vanguard you can pay the cost if you do from the soul you can call up one great one to your regular circle yeah and at the end of the turn return it back to your soul so at the cost of one count blast you are able to fill up rear guards just in case sometimes you do not have any rear guards in your soul any great ones in your soul you, i mean yeah you know any few presents you can just call her and get that one free unit usually we do not use this first skill but second skill is the interesting skill uh, when this unit attacks the vanguard and you have a harry vanguard you can soul charge one uh, if you do, it gains us 2k power. And if the Soul Charge unit has the Magia ability, which is quite consists of many of the cards, I think she doesn't have Magia, she gets as your 3k. So that's basically 5 plus 5k. Exactly the same amount of as like Dark, Dark, Dark Side Princess, except that she has a bit a little bit of RNG, but she gets a free Soul Charge, which is pretty cool. Four copies. Four copies of Dark Side Princess. Our MVP of the set previously. Now we have her partner, which is the which is her. So when this unit attacks the Vanguard, you may, it may gain plus 5k power. If she gains the 5k power, at the end of the turn, she goes back into the soul. So the 5k power is basically just free because anyway, if you're playing in this deck, end turn, everything goes back into the soul. So getting a 5k earlier doesn't matter. So sorry, at the end of the battle, she goes into the soul, not end of turn, yeah. And the best thing is you could use her early game so that you can hide her into your soul so that you can call back later on. So usually on my early games, I like to rush my opponent a little and just use her skill, game plus 5k. So it's four copies. Now, three copies of uh, Perilope, Antelope. Yeah. So when this unit is called to the regard circle, you may soul charge one. Select one card from your soul and call it to the same column as him. So call one card behind him. Now, usually I call a great one. At the end of the turn, return that unit called by its effect into your soul. So yeah, uh, make sure your field is filled up. If you guys watch my um, card fight video, definitely you can see um, this all these units in action. Yeah, so that is the great tools. Pretty standard. More attackers and some summoning power. Now for great ones, we play four copies of Paratrooper, QT Paratrooper, <clears throat> the MVP of the deck in my great one in the great one form. So basically, she is the same as Antelope. When this unit is placed on the regard circle. By a Magia ability, and you have a Harry Vanguard, you may pit, you may Soul Charge one, and call one card from the Soul other than her, other than her, QT Paratrooper, and call it the same column as her. So usually I will you I will call either her or the brand new unit. So you can call your strong units so that and that unit gets us five K power. So not only she gains a five K by herself, she gains plus five K by Paratrooper skill. So yeah, by powering up, give your regard columns a huge huge amount of guard. So during end of turn, return that unit caught out by its effect into the soul. So yeah, end of turn, probably the whole field gets disappeared. Which is good because you won't get retired by Kagero so much and won't get locked by Link Jokers. Getting locked by Link Jokers is one of the Pale Moon's we biggest weakness back then. But now, thank goodness, we can run away. So four copies of the brand new Perfect Guard. All right, I actually misplayed with this Perfect Guard because you, are one, you won't be able to use the Perfect Guard together with um, him because she can only activate if she's used from the hand. Her skill is uh, Magia ability. When this unit is based on the Guardian Circle, I mean, when this unit is retired from the Guardian Circle, so basically what it means, right, is after the Guard phase, she will go from the Guardian Zone into a Drop Zone. That means it's, it got retired. So basically the end of the Guardian phase. <clears throat> you may Soul Blast 1 if you do. Select one card from your Soul and... So you have to have a Harry Vanguard. Select one card from your Soul, which is Grade 2, and call it to your Regard Circle. Very good because... Um, sometimes Harry deck does not have any a few persons, so you can call her to the Guardian Circle, get some few, a little bit of few, few persons, maybe Pentalope and Intercept, some small attacks. So basically, she's like a free 5k shoe and it costs one Soul Blast. Because anyway, the Soul is kind of full, so you can always use her to guard. And the full art looks pretty nice. Let us see a little bit. Yeah, I really love the art for the new cards. Right, so the next great one we play is another brand new card. This is a rare. <clears throat> three copies of her, a knife juggler. So when this card is caught from the hand to your regard circle, Magia, 
I need a Harry Vanguard. You can call one card which is grade 2 and above to the same column as this unit. So usually we use her in times where you do not have any crit ones in the soul and you just want to call her from the hand. Because the second skill actually helps her go hide into the soul later on so that you are able to use her skill. I mean you won't even use her skill but you get at least a grade 1 to the soul. During our turn, call the unit. That unit caught by its effect gets sent back into the soul. Yeah. Second skill, rear guard. Um, during the end of turn, you may pay the cost of sending her into the soul. You have a um, vanguard with the magia ability. You may pay the cost if you do. You can soul charge one. So yeah, you get her into the soul. So setting up the soul is very important in this deck. So I recommend to play her. Three copies of Mascarade Bunny. Very cute. Um, if you guys are wondering how the old art looks like compared, so this is the old art. Adorable. Yep. So basically, she's uh, search out for your, for your Harry. The brand new SP just looks amazing because it has legs. Alright, what she does is, uh, when this unit is placed on the hand to your regular circle, you can search your... Reveal a great tree from hand. If you do search your deck for a Harry Vanguard, so you can either search for your either Harrys and add it to your hand. And of course, this is a strike deck, so once again, <clears throat> definitely play three or more in a strike deck. Yep, so there's our great one lineup. So let us go on to our triggers. Give me a sec. Can I mix up, please. All right. So triggers we play rainbow lineup because this deck um have a lots of good triggers. So yeah, and the draw is actually kind of important because we need a little bit of draw power. This deck doesn't have much draw power, but it doesn't matter because <clears throat> most of stuff we are calling from the soul. So first up, the crit trigger we play the Harry crit. When your Harry Manga attacks, you may, when she's on the regular circle, can go. She can go in the soul and you can draw one card and give us five K power. Uh, what sometimes I will, what I do is I call her out <clears throat> just in case I need some hand size. I'll just call her out and let her go back in the soul so you can draw on free card. So some it's some pretty cool trick if you need some you're desperate of some hand cards, just call her out. Yeah, you reduce your you won't reduce the soul because you go back in the soul anyway. So it's a good trick. Uh, crit trigger. Next up, um, uh, GBD five triggers. What she does is when she's so charged when she got when she enters the soul, you may pay the cost. Or shuffling her back into the deck. If you do, select one card other than her in your deck and place it into your soul. That is amazing because that way you are able to set up your soul. So let's say you need um that side princess and you accidentally soul charge her. Because to be honest, we I'm kinda unlucky sometimes. So I get to soul charge her. I'll just add Dark Side Princess or my grade two attackers or power trooper, which is very important, and fix my soul. Very good. Kinda wish crit. Trigger got this, but yeah, what do I mean? Set trigger is still good in this deck. Uh, four draw triggers. You could use the the effect one, but I love her because she just looks so cute. Yeah, kitten juggler. Yeah, um, it's all player preference. And finally, four heels. Um, I think it's lion tamer. Another cute card. Heal triggers are very important in this deck because of G guardians. All right, for the starter, we play one of my favorite starters in the game because um, uh, puss in boots. What he does is, when a card is... Uh, he doesn't have the Pioneer ability, so when you write a great one, he won't come out. He's stuck in there forever. So when you write, it's inside. What he, but he will come out later in the game, at a crucial point. Which is, whenever you call... Whenever a card is placed on the Vanguard Circle... Whenever a card is placed on Vanguard Circle... So, placed on Vanguard Circle, which means either you write a great... No, just GB1, so it's okay. It doesn't matter. So... Oh, okay. You could actually just, when you rewrite a card... Let's say you rewrite over Harry, uh, he could also come out and trigger his skill. Which is something to note if in case you can't strike, but why would you rewrite Harry where you can strike right? So whenever you perform a strike, so when you strike, a card is placed on the Vanguard Circle. You may call him out from the soul. At the end of the turn, she, he goes back into your soul, hides back inside. Magia ability, when this unit is called to the Regard from the soul, you can select one card other than him and call it to a Regard Circle. At the end of the turn, that card called by its effect gets sent back into your soul. So what you do is, when you strike, Okay, and um, a card enters the Vanguard Circle. Cool. So, Keaton will run out. And Keaton will run out will call QT Paratrooper. And QT Paratrooper will just probably call another card from Soul. Come out, plus 5k. So, and what we do usually, we activate Harry skill, Soul Blast 1. Call another QT Paratrooper if you're that lucky. Now, usually that's not very hard to set up anyway. Or you could call Pantalope if you have Pantalope. You know, this you can call a free card. QT Paratrooper, call another card. Then you have a very, very beautiful feel. Which will, which will destroy face, obviously. So at the end of the turn, all these will go back into your soul. So they'll be protected from locks and retiring. Very nice. 
Yep, and we do not need worry because we have G Guardians right now. And the G Guardians is actually pretty good. So yeah, uh, Kitin is very good. Alright, that is for the the main deck. Let's go on to our G Guardians, I mean G units. Okay, give me a sec to sort out. Alright, G Guardians. Okay, first up we play one copy of Amada. Um, she's a trial deck Amada. Um, I think I saw her, when I saw Luna first use Amada, I was all struck because Amada looks so cute and amazing. So I definitely have to play her, one of her, just for the Luna effect. So she has a skill Magia. When this unit attack hits the Vanguard, you may Soul Charge 1. Select one card from your soul and call it to Regard Circle. And that unit gives us 2k power. At the end of the turn, return it back to your soul. So very good combo with Dark Side Princess. Since Dark Side Princess enters the soul, Battle Phase, attack, go to soul, attack. Oh cool, go back her again was okay, okay, attack again. Ooh man, all that sweet combos you can pull off with Amada. Because early game your opponent usually won't guard her. Yeah. You're generally used because of her nice art. One copy. Next up. If not wrong. Her name is uh, Janet. She's she's a new rare from this set. I play her sometimes if I want to swap a soul into my card. Now, when this unit is placed on the Vanguard Circle, you can pay the cost of Count Blasting 1 and select one card on your field and call it the Regular Circle. So, yeah. So, basically, and... Uh, that unit gives us 2k power, and that, if that unit is caught by this effect as Magia Ability, you may so touch 1. So, you, I guess you use her to get additional soul sometimes, if you're desperate. One copy, just for playtesting, actually. So, 4 copies of Lunatech Dragon. Lunatech. One of my, my one of the creepiest dragons in the game. So what it does is when this unit enters the Vanguard Circle, we may pay the cost of flipping yourself a copy of itself face up. If you do, he gains a skill. Um whenever you whenever unit is caught from the soul to the Vanguard Circle for this turn, it gains a 2k power. So yeah, uh, for this usually you play Harry Deck, <coughs> everything will just pop up on the soul. So all of them gives 2k power. It's kind of like Alfred Dinosaur. So that's why I guess I like him. And GB3. During this turn, this card gives one crit, so your opponent is pressured to guard this guy. Otherwise, yeah, that's game when it's for damage or more. Alright. So, next up, three copies of the Parana. Parana is just test. I'm actually currently just testing her. So, Parana is. Count plus one and choose one card from your G zone, turn it face up, and choose a card from your hand and put it into your soul. Choose up to the same number of cards, the Magia ability from your soul, as the same number of face-up cards in your G-Zone, and call it to separate rare circles. Um, at the so basically, this card effect is good because in the late game, you can... It doesn't matter on how many Parana is face-up in the G-Zone. You could, you got Amadas, you got your Lunatech in your G-Zone face-up, you can, you can get lots of cards from your soul, which is nice. Yeah, <clears throat> basically... She has a second ability though. At the end of turn, if the number of face-up cards... Face up Piranhas in the G-Zone is 1 or less, you must put the units with this effect back into your soul. If it's 2 or more, you can choose any number of units with the effect and put them in your soul. So if you have 2 or more face up in your G-Zone, you don't have to call those units back in your soul. But sometimes I actually want to just call them back into your soul. So yeah. Um, usually the units that you don't call back in your soul is the upgrade 2, so they can intercept. So 3 copies is fine. 1 copy of Harry. So the great four Harry, when this unit attacks the Vanguard, Magia, you may pay the cost of count GB3, count blast two, and select one card on your field and call it back into your soul. Suck it back into your soul. If you do, if you pay the cost, you can cause three units from the soul to separate regard circles. And if you have five or more units on the field, your opponent selects two cards and send them to your soul. So it's kind of like a very nice removal. Especially against uh, Grand Blue sometimes because they can call back stuff that you retire, so you kind of call them back in their send them away to the soul, so they won't be able to use it unless it's so blasted out. So it's a pretty cool uh, ability. So at the end of turn, call those unit, those unit called by this effect goes back into your soul. Very good because um first it gives you additional removal. It is a remover. It gives you additional attacks, so it's very very good. It's kind of like Night Rose or that. Yeah, one copy. And the brand new card, which I actually tested in my duo video. I could strike into him, but I strode into him just because I want to test the, test out Fairfield. Paro Megatrick Fairfield. So it's the Megatrick Magician, and it's a secret rare. So it looks very nice. Um, Skill. Magia, GB3, count blast 2, and choose a card from your soul, and drop zone and put them at the bottom of the deck in any order. So what you do 
with this card right is you want to send back your heal triggers or any triggers stuck in the soul and drop zone. That time I sent back two heals and it really did me well. If you do, call a card from your soul and it gains a skill. That card gains a stand K and one crit. So you're giving a rig up one crit super pressure so the opponent definitely have to guard it. And it gains a skill. Activate Soul Blast 2. Until end of turn, this unit gains plus 5k power. So what you do is, let's say you have lots of soul, you can remove those soul, gain plus 5k power, and this and that unit cannot be chosen by card effects. One thing that one of my uh, viewers actually note that uh, you can you cannot be attacked affected by triggers. So the bad thing is you can't if you check a stand, you can't power it, you can't restand this unit. I mean the the regard. So yeah. So at the end of the turn, you can you must put that unit caught by this effect back into your soul as well. So that's Harry's specialty, I guess. So one copy of Sabris because of Great Lock decks. This deck is kind of get kind of destroyed by Great Lock decks to be honest because it's a GB deck. But I'm kind of seeing less of those. But we just play one just in case. Now for the G Guardians, we play two copies of the the Red Dragon. When this unit is placed on the Guardian Circle, you can call one card. You can so charge one, then call one card from your G zone from your soul into your G zone. So um, if you're playing Silver Tons, you can call the Perfect Guard. Otherwise, you can just call addition like those tanky shields actually charge into your soul. A heal trigger, nice. So it's basically twenty five k shield. So yeah, it's still a very very good card, nonetheless. One copy of uh, Dotin Harley Queen Maja. Her, her art is really nice, and she has a very nice skill. When this unit is placed on the Guardian Circle, and if you have a Vanguard with a Magia ability, this unit gets a five k shield. So plus five k shield is a twenty k shield. Until end of the battle, you can choose up to one card from soul. I call it to Red Circle. At the end of that turn, put a unit back to your soul. So yeah, this deck doesn't have any regards usually, so you can you call that unit out to intercept. And if you have a Vanguard with the Magia ability, you may soul charge three. Very good because it get more gets more cards to the soul. So sometimes this deck doesn't get it doesn't have turbo like dark irregulars. So you want to get that extra soul charge sometimes. Next up, Chainsaw. I think it's Farnival. Yeah. When this unit is placed on the Guardian Circle, you can check the top three cards of the deck. Select one of those cards and add it to your soul. And if that soul card is a great one and above, if the card placed in the soul is a great one and above, this is a 20k shield. Very nice to set up a soul a little and get a 20k shield at the same time. So I hope you guys enjoyed my deck profile on my Magia deck, my Magia Harry deck. And if you'd like to see more of this deck in action, be sure to like this video. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you next time, guys. Bye-bye.